Oh, damn. Power level 119. Yo, guys, what is up? It's your boy George here. Today, we're going to be looking at Highland Warrior Wildcat. And when I was making this loadout, I decided that I would make the grenade on her worth it. So, you're going to want to literally run her. Well, for me, I kind of made her like a grenade specialist, I guess you can call it. So, her commander perk decreases frag grenade energy cost by 83%, and that's pretty important. Because I actually paired it up with this one. Keep out. Frag grenade leech leaves an energized area dealing 12 base energy damage per second for 6 seconds. Base radius is 0.375 tiles and increased by 40% which with each match, which is pretty nice. And with that, we also have the cluster bomb. Frag grenade explodes into six small grenades, which each deal 16 base energy damage and 0.5 tile radius. And as you guys know, I got my boy Rescue Trooper Havoc here just so we can get the extra assault damage. And we have my guy over here undercover, Van Bang. I'm gonna call him Bang. Increases frag grenade damage by 36 percent. So we're gonna be doing a nice damage, and then we got my guy Tactical Assault Sledgehammer, which increases assault critical damage by 75 percent. It's pretty nice. Then we got my gal Master Grenade Rem Master Grenade Ramirez, which increases frag grenade radius by 50 percent. This one's kind of weird because hers is 50 percent no matter what if you're using her as a standard perk or the commander perk. So I mean, like in a sense of that, I don't really see why you'd run want to run her as your main, but I guess i mean i just don't know why but okay so i haven't really leveled these guys up obviously some of them are leveled up but guys let's hop into the mission and let's see how amazing this bad boy can do i'm gonna be hopping into power level 104 times as usual all right guys we have officially made it into the mission and i want to see how good this grenade is but quickly let's check this out Oh, six clusters right there. Dang. <laughs> that used little to no energy. Check that out. Only five energy. What the hell? If you can get it to reset pretty quickly, man, you can probably get something rolling. So, obviously, you guys. Obviously. I know that this isn't a practical use. Like, I know not everybody likes running a grenade. Well... Likes running a hero that is a uh, grenade master. But I quite like it. Woo! Damn! Power level 118. I like getting murdered. Oh, is that a wasp masher right here? Come on over here, big boy. Where you at? Where you at, big boy? I want to mess with you. So, obviously, this is a, a nature mission. So, I want to be using fire. So, obviously, this is going to go good for me as usual. I'm not rocking that 100% amazing health, which kind of sucks. But I guess the 3,000 will do. Of course, these guys. Y'all aren't worth my time. Oh, here we go. Big boy, you're the one that I've been wanting. Oh, you know what? I'm going to just wait. Let's get this going. Let's see. How much damage would you do? Oh. Oh, come on. Come on over here. Oh, baby, you're not going to do the best damage to this wall smasher. Leave me alone! What? What just happened? He was supposed to attack me, but I didn't even take any damage. He just went the other way. Oh, are these what I think it is, this mission? Exploding death burst. No, brother man, I don't like that. I really hate him. Ah, uh, but guys, you guys saw what it would do. So honestly, I think this loadout is pretty good if you like running grenades. Like you might you might want to use this loadout, but in all practical use, I don't think you would like to. This is just showing you guys some gameplay and how I kind of decided to build her and kind of make her like a specialist with the grenades. Obviously, I could have picked a couple he good heroes, but this was just simple. Shelter discovered. This isn't even a shelter. This is like trash on the floor. Okay, then Fortnite, whatever. But guys, check this out. <laughs> I actually had time. To make this bad boy a 130. And this is probably the lowest DPS launcher in the game. Like when I first made this a 130, I was just so astonished by how low the DPS is. But come on over here, you bastards. Come on over here. Thank you. You've been wonderful. Look how good this is going to take out that group. 
Oh, baby, that group got taken out pretty good. Only two bad, only of two of these guys survived. Which is pretty nice, but I'm going to be placing some patrol wards around here. What's that? Oh. Well, six explosions, pretty nice. And the fact that it only cost five energy is pretty amazing. Literally, dude, this is probably one of the better loadouts that I've actually probably done on this channel. And I'm only saying that because the amount of, like, literally energy that these freaking grenades take, dude, it's crazy. They only literally spend five energy just to get them going. Look, guys, look at that. Uh, top left corner, only five energy was spent. They take out quite a bit of husks. I actually like it. So I'm actually not doing too bad, especially on this mission since it's nature and I'm using a uh, fire weapon. But not only that, um, the reason I'm doing fairly well is because I do have that extra crit damage. Don't forget that. I have that increased crit. One thing I don't have is the fact that, you know, somebody did not put down their base ability, I think. Let's see. Does it heal me? Guess not. Kind of sucks. But I know that everybody is running a, um, a constructed build nowadays. But guys, don't forget, my actual grenades do energy damage, so they're actually going to be affecting every husk. So let's just chuck that bad boy up in there and see how good that does. Woo! Man, I love that little cluster that it does, man. But the fact that it only takes five energy is quite nice, and I like that. So obviously, guys, this is a power level 100. I actually expect myself to be doing fairly better in the lower levels. Like, if I were to use her for a power level 90, I'd probably be doing... Now, I'd probably be doing better, but also don't forget the fact that I usually, when I make these videos, I usually don't level up all my heroes that I have slotted. So I'm not going to be maximizing all the actual, all the actual health that I can get, which it's kind of a bummer, but, you know, I'm trying to save some, some, uh, actual evolution materials. Chuck that bad boy up in there. Woo! Oh, funny. I have one more. I'm going to chuck that bad boy in there. Woo! Damn. I'm not doing that good, but I'm not doing that bad either. So, obviously, guys, I'm using my 130 old God Roll Gravedigger. Obviously, I probably could have gone for a War Cry build. Because most likely more heroes that give better War Cry. Right here. Let's give this guy a go. Throw my grenades up in there. Come on, you fools. Get out of here. Chuck a little grenade up in there. Oh, surprise, I'm running out of energy. But this build is actually quite nice. So I feel like the damage is kind of even. Maybe maybe not my healing is even, you know. We'll probably do better on that. No. Husk, die. Obviously, on health-wise, I'm not doing the best. I'm actually quite sucking on that. But I feel like the damage is good. Since, you know, I have that damage. Also, don't forget, I also have that crit. Which is not, it's not a bad thing. Maybe I can get something better going. Obviously, guys, do I actually recommend this? No, this is more, this is more of a build for me to have fun and enjoy myself, which I actually have. I'm enjoying, like, all the grenades, how easily it takes out the husk. Maybe you guys, maybe want to make this build. You guys could probably obviously build it better than I did. Like, that's for sure. I don't think I did a good, a good build on this one. But, guys... I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this video actually went well for you guys. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.